You know, I like recording things. I really do. And especially for me, when it's gonna come down to what I use for a good podcast setup, you know, I got the lights, I got the camera, I got the action. But what I didn't have before was a very good way to capture it all together while doing a call with somebody because video podcasting is hard over the internet. Lucky for me, I've been using Riverside for the last few months now. And while this video is sponsored by Riverside, these are my thoughts on the tool as I was using it as a paid customer prior to them reaching out. So thank you so much for reaching out and sprites in this video, Riverside. But here are my thoughts on this amazing tool and how it takes my podcasting from, uh, well, let's just say B tier to a better tier. First and foremost, if I just go into my dashboard, it's actually pretty simple. The setup that I have here is all of my previous Riverside recordings. Uh, the Overall benefits of this is that I can go within a studio section over here and make multiple of them. Like for example, this is the Rise Productive Podcast Studio. And after having created it, I can upload recordings or share this link out to other people. And then once it's shared out with somebody, they can see all of this different file, all these different files. And for me, if I go inside of the studio I can then select a specific camera that works well for me. So for me, I can either use my cam link, which is currently connected to what I'm recording with right now, or I can pick this good old webcam right here. Then I would select whether I'm using headphones or not. And if I press join studio, after clicking on I am not using headphones, was that I've entered a studio in where I essentially have an option to invite people into my studio. So. Let's just pretend that I were to copy this link out or send it via email. Anybody would be able to join this call. Say I was Chad Bradbury. I'd allow this right within here. As you can see right here, it's trying to trying to go phone on me. So, well, this is pretty trippy that there's two of us, uh, two of me right now. One of me looks significantly tanner, but anyways, this situation is hilarious. But in actuality, what would happen is there'd be multiple people interacting on this call together rather than it just being me, myself, and I. But yeah, now that there's two of me in this format, uh, I'll just point out the fact that this is a amazing setup because there are so many different things to choose from here. I can quickly change the recording. So say this was like one episode called 185, Notion Enthusiast Dimitri Panici. I can have that put there. And then you'll notice here from a microphone standpoint, that it does capture my mic. So I'm going to showcase here how when I unmute the mic, it has a gauge. I can put a little bit of a voice limiter on this. I can remove background noise and I even can adjust this to a low data mode. The way that Riverside works is that essentially when I press record for this, does a little bit of a timer countdown. And then in a few seconds, what'll happen is that it will take this right here and instead of the quality you see on the screen what will actually be recorded is a higher quality version of it aka hard recording the inputs that you have in order for it to come out really nice on the other end so for me if you take a look at my studio i have a very nice camera right i have a 4k camera that i do use and for here You'll see that it shows this in low resolution, but what I can do is after it's recorded, I can go here and download those high quality recordings by themselves, and they end up coming out looking as nice as what you see right here. So in a very easy format, I can go back and look through all of these different calls that I've had with my podcast co-host as well as guests and have a very nice recording setup done through my Elgato cam link that is simply just a higher level of recording and an easier interaction to deal with on the back end when it comes to editing. Even more than that, when we finish out our show, I can generate show notes very easily. As you can see right here, it's going to skim our podcast and divide it into different chapters that are very commonly found in the description of different podcast episodes so people can skip through those different parts and interact with the podcast in a much better way. So you can see there's a summary, takeaways, and chapters that are created in order for people to see it better. Then from here, you also can simply go to the editor to edit this, whether it be for a podcast or other recordings, and edit this based on text editing. So very simply, you can edit from this transcript or via the timeline. 
So it's pretty similar to what you'd experience with some other editors. However, it's a little bit more simple as, you know, if I press the tracks right here, I can showcase the multiple tracks. And then from here, let's go to one of these. And if I just don't want to say these few words, I press delete and then it's not a part of the video anymore. And then I could delete this, right? So you'll see if I go through this again and it removes it. So if I click here and do restore, then it would come right back. Now, besides cutting and whatnot, you can also correct the specific text, add chapters, and you can also go into the timeline and do the normal sort of things, which would be like splitting it right here for some reason if you wanted to, dragging this right here if you wanted to, deleting this part out, adding other recordings here in order to edit it. You literally end up being able to use this as a full-fledged editor in a similar way that you could with other editing tools. So if you're looking for not only a podcast recorder or video recorder, you also are able to edit all the content on here. You can add different captions like this. As you can see, I added captions and it pops up right here. And then, not only that, you can pick specific colors and fonts. So say I did this and then wanted to change it to this greenish yellow right here. Maybe change it to large text. Whatever fits your theme, you can totally do. Okay, caps or not, you have a lot of different options. Change the alignment. And you do have the ability to adjust the layout as well. So for example, you could do a picture in picture option. You can do full screen or you can do a split screen as well or the basic half and half grid. And when it comes down to this product in comparison to some of the competitors, you have things like Squadcast, Zencaster, OpenReel and StreamYard. I personally haven't used any of the other platforms and I don't really see why I would try anything else as the pricing is really manageable. It has a myriad of different amazing tools that I didn't even get into regarding the editing features like removing silence. Who doesn't like that? And it's simply just as a great experience for when I'm doing a remote podcast recording. If you want to try Riverside out, make sure to go to the link down below. It will be my custom link. So I appreciate any support there. And also I appreciate the support that Riverside has given me in this experience and i mean I, I used your product for almost a year and then you reached out i was beyond happy about it with that being said thank you so much for watching this video make sure to check out riverside and videos like this one on how to improve your skills using productivity tools even more